Toilet that Rosemary and her family uses, and uh, as you can see, the state of the toilet is not good for children to use this kind of toilet. The state is so, is so, is so, so, so um, devastating. My name is Rosemary Mary. So I have two brothers, so making three of us here. We stay here. Even since when my mom is died, we don't have anybody to help us. We are just here alone. We go to the woman's shop to give us something to eat because we are more in enough of money, which is twelve thousand. Even the landlord are like want to chase us out of this place because we don't have money to pay the house rent. So I was pleading on him to just hold on with us that we are going to give him any amount of money. So he now said that he just give us the end of this month. By the end of ending of this month, so we chase us out of the place. So I don't have father, nobody, no family members, so we are just here. I don't know, I was told your father stays in uh, Calabar, right? Yes. Father is in Calabar? Yes. Okay, is he aware of your situation? Yes, he's aware. You know, my mom and him, they are no more together before she died. Okay, so sorry. So it's because of that. Okay, how old are you? I'm 19. 19 years old. Yes. She is still a teenager. Okay, can you please um, tell us how have you been coping so far with these other children? Because eventually you have become their mother. Yes. There's where I was working before, which is where they are selling food. So they pay me daily, which is 700 naira every day. So when they pay me the salary every day, I will use it to do small things for us to eat. Because I cannot stay at home. I don't have anybody who is going to help me, nobody. So I go there every morning. By the time they pay me, I will come back. I will say, okay, let's manage this, let's manage it. So sometimes we go to the woman's shop and tell her that Ma, we don't have anything in the house. She will give us rice, then we we'll come back home. We can stop the rice and drop the rice. Or else tomorrow we can do the rice and eat. So that is how we are just coping from my junior ones. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Ma. This is Madam Favor, the innocent, um, wonderful mother in this community that has been assisting those kids, Rosemary and her family. So we're here to actually interview to ask you a few questions on how we'll be able to support. Rosemary and her family. I know that's not been easy for you either. I want you to have hope that you have people actually that are out there to support you. If you don't have anybody to support you around you, I believe strongly that there are people when they hear your story, they will be able to support you and be able to lift you out from this situation you find yourself. So I just want you to be strong. So I also believe that your younger ones, that you're actually trying to also see how you can take care of them. I believe that they're also looking up to you for strength. So try to encourage them and stand strong for them. You, you will get the support that you need, I believe so, and always believe that God will see you through all this. Things. On behalf of Nevasto, we understand that it's not easy for you to feed at this moment. Before we can get the support that we need, we just decide to get to something small, uh, indomie, rice and garlic, which is inside, so that you'll be able to support yourself a little, so you can have something to eat that will strengthen you. Before we can get the support that you need, that will lift you up from this situation. Rosemary. I also like to ask your mother if um, you're given an opportunity to learn skills or go to school, which one would you prefer? I prefer learning uh, skills because I know I have an idea of making hair, so I prefer that I need to go and learn hairdressing. Okay, you like to make hair, yes. a hairdressing skill. Should we keep quiet and fold our hands while children like this, especially young moms, go through this situation, like Rosemary? There are a lot of women going through the same situation, and we at Levasto are looking at supporting these children. We're not going to keep quiet about this. That's why we're here today to interview Rosemary and her family, and we have so much, much more that we have to interview, and we look forward to your support. I'm Teresa Dixon, Relationship Manager at Levasto.